Saad El Din Rafiq Al Hariri is a Lebanese Saudi politician who served as the Prime Minister of Lebanon from 2009 to 2011 and 2016 to 2020. The son of Rafiq Hariri, he founded and has been leading the Future Movement Party since 2007. He is seen as the strongest figurehead of the March 14 alliance. Hariri served as Prime Minister of Lebanon from the 9th of November 2009 to the 13th of June 2011. After three years living overseas, he returned to Lebanon on the 8th of August 2014 and served a second term as Prime Minister from the 18th of December 2016 to the 21st of January 2020. Hariri's surprise announcement of an intent to resign broadcast on the 4th of November 2017 on Saudi State TV has widely been seen as part of the Iran-Saudi Arabia proxy conflict in Lebanon and triggered a dispute between Lebanon and Saudi Arabia. The resignation was later suspended following President Michel Aoun's request to put it on hold ahead of further consultations. On October 29, 2019, amid the 2019-20 Lebanese protests, he announced his resignation and that of his cabinet. He was designated as Prime Minister on the 22nd of October 2020, but failed to form a government and resigned as on the 15th of July 2021. Saad Hariri was born in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia on the 18th of April 1970, and as the son of Rafiq Hariri and his first wife Nadal Bastani, an Iraqi. In addition to his native Arabic, Hariri speaks English, French and Italian. He graduated in 1992 from the McDonough School of Business at Georgetown University with a degree in business administration. Prior to entering politics, Hariri was the chairman of the executive committee of Augur Telecom, which pursued telecommunication interests in the Middle East and Africa from 1994 to 2005. In addition, Hariri was the chairman of Omnia Holdings and a board member of Augur International Enterprise. The Travo International, Saudi Augur, Saudi Investment Bank, Saudi Research and Marketing Group and Lebanese television channel Future TV. On 20 April 2005, the Hariri family announced that Saad Hariri would lead the Future Movement, an essentially Sunni movement that was created and led by his late father. He was the leader of the March 14 Alliance, a coalition of political groups born out of the Cedar Revolution which through mass popular demonstrations and Western support, led to the withdrawal of Syrian troops from Lebanon in 2005 after a 29-year presence. Hariri was first elected Prime Minister from 9 November 2009 until 13 June 2011. On 12 January 2011, minutes after Hariri posed for pictures with President Barack Obama in the Oval Office, the opposition parties resigned from his unity government cabinet, causing its collapse. The withdrawal of Hezbollah and its allies was due to political tensions arising from investigations into the assassination of Rafiq Hariri. Hezbollah operatives had been accused of assassinating Rafiq Hariri. Hariri continued on for four months as caretaker prime minister. The new Lebanese government was formed on 13 June 2011 and headed by Najib Mikti. Mikti created an 8 March-led government coalition. On 12 December 2012, Syria issued a warrant for the arrest of Hariri, future bloc deputy Okab Sakr and free Syrian army official Louis al mokdad on charges of arming and providing financial support for Syrian opposition groups. Hariri released a statement in response, describing Bashar al-Assad as a monster. Following more than two years of deadlock in electing a president, Michel Aoun was elected. Shortly after, Aoun signed a decree appointing Hariri as Prime Minister for the second time and he took office on the 18th of December 2016. On the 4th of November 2017, in a televised statement from Saudi Arabia, Hariri tendered his resignation from office, citing Iran's and Hezbollah's political overextension in the Middle East region and fears of assassination. Iran vehemently rejected Saad Hariri's remarks and called his resignation part of a plot by the United States, Israel, and Saudi Arabia to heighten Middle Eastern tensions.
the Lebanese army responded with a statement that intelligence in its possession in addition to ongoing arrests and investigations had not revealed the presence of any plan for assassinations in the country. Most Iran-leaning or Shia-aligned Lebanese groups, including Hezbollah, were among the first to accuse Saudi Arabia of holding Hariri hostage. Hariri's associates and Saudi officials subsequently denied this. Several Lebanese commentators poked fun at the released pictures of Hariri in Saudi Arabia for their apparent similarity to those taken of hostages. Anti-Hezbollah blogger Michael Young stated that he did not think Hariri was an actual hostage of the Saudi regime, but that the situation confirmed Hariri's close ties with them. However, Lebanese-American political scientist Asa Abu Khalil claimed that the Saudis had jailed and physically restrained and assaulted Hariri before ordering him to broadcast his resignation. In November, it was announced that Hariri was on his way from Saudi Arabia to the United.